For those of us who aren't blessed with x-ray vision or just 2020 vision, we get to rock some serious statement lenses, aka glasses. Glasses come in all different shapes, colors, sizes, and materials, so how do you know which one suits you best? We all know that glasses should enhance your face, so here's a guide on how to find the right glasses for your face shape. Seasons know so well. First, look in the mirror, and with your lipstick or eyeliner, and don't forget to pull your hair back, I kind of forgot to do it here, outline the shape of your face. Oh, and don't forget to wipe down the mirror when you're done. My favorite way to get squeaky clean mirrors is spraying a little bit of glass cleaner and wiping it down with good old fashioned newspaper. And once you've outlined your face, step away and study the shape you just drew. So, what's your face shape? Is it rectangle, oval, diamond, oblong, square, round, heart? Once you've figured out your face shape, then comes the fun part, finding the right frames for your face shape. Let's say you have full cheeks, a soft chin line, and forehead. Proportional in width and length, my dear, you are the adorable circle. To help add definition to your face, look for glasses with strong angular shapes or rectangular frames. So try to avoid circular glasses, like something Harry Potter would rock. You have a strong jaw and broad forehead, proportional in width and length. My dear, you are a square. Your face shape, not personality. Believe it or not, your face shape is very high fashion. A gorgeous strong face shape like yours will appreciate glasses that are softer and rounder. Look for glasses that sit high on your nose. This will lengthen your face. It's all about creating balance to your face. So that means avoid overly boxy narrow frames. If you have a narrow forehead and jawline, just like the precious stone, you're a diamond. You can play up your delicate features with fun cat eye and oval shapes. Frames that sweep up will help emphasize your cheekbones. Try and avoid boxy, straight across frames that might accentuate the width of your cheeks. Keep it delicate and sassy. If your face is longer than wide, you have an oblong face shape, similar to the gorgeous Liv Tyler. And that means you want to try oversized glasses, especially the ones that are wider than your face. You want to look for shapes that are rounder with more depth. And try to avoid frames that are too small or short. Now, let's say you have a strong jaw, but your face is longer than it is wide. That means you have a rectangle face shape. Play against your facial contours. Similar to the square face shape, try curvy and oval glasses. But unlike the square face shape, the wider the glasses, the more flattering. Contrast your bold features by avoiding rectangle shapes. If you have a broad forehead and cheekbones with a narrow chin, my dear, soft and delicate like the shape, you are the heart. Rimless frames will look amazing on you. Look for thin, light metal, or clear plastic frames. Avoid overly embellished or heavy glasses because it might overwhelm your face. Your frames should soften your strong features, not accentuate it. Last but not least, if your forehead, jaw, and chin are all proportionate, you have an oval face shape. And that means you can pull off almost any frame shape. So have fun and experiment. Pretty much all frames will suit you. Actually, maybe not all. A simple rule to keep in mind is the more angular your features, the rounder the glasses should be. The more rounder your features, obviously, the more angular the frame should be. With your new glasses, you'll feel and see like a new person. Depending on lighting, my frames can cast a shadow under my eyes, so concealing is crucial for me. Using a heavy coverage concealer will help brighten up your eyes. I'm using here my own concealer that I made called The Great Cover Up, and this will pretty much cover up my sleep deprived eyes. Now, I don't know if this happens to you, but whenever I wear too much mascara, my lashes get stuck to the lenses. Instead, I line my eyes. First, I brighten my waterline with a peach or rose gold color. If you want your eyes to look more fresh, try this look. And because I'm not wearing mascara, I can be a little more adventurous with my eyeliner. Strange as it sounds, you can get away with heavier eyeliner looks when you're wearing glasses than if you weren't. Think of your glasses like a picture frame. The bigger the picture, the better you'll see it. For my brows, I like to reshape them so that they contour with the frame shape. If my glasses are more boxy, they'll be a bit more straight and angular. If my frames are round, I'll make sure my brows are fuller and softer. And lastly, I like to contour my nose so that I bring more definition to my face thus drawing attention back to my eyes. You don't really need much. A little bit of contouring here and there can really change up your look. 
And if you want a foolproof eyeshadow palette, stick with earth tone colors like taupe, soft browns, and nude colors. Bright loud colors are fun to experiment with, and remember, the louder your eye makeup, the cooler it'll look inside your frames. Alright cutie, have fun experimenting with different frames and eye makeup. You'll never know how awesome it looks until you try it. He's got something to say. When I was in college, I called my parents and I said, I'm getting headaches looking at the board and calculus. After I went through all the tests, my doctor told me that I had 2015 vision. I just didn't understand calculus. <laughs> <laughs> this is how to find the right glasses frames for your face. I'm with a man who knows. LA-based glasses designer, Garrett Light. We also have a panel of extreme stylishness. To prove that you are in fact an expert, we're gonna play a little game. We're gonna have you find the right glasses for each of these guys' look, and then we're gonna see what they think of how you did. Let's do it. You ready for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it then. It's like everything with style, the first thing you gotta do is know yourself. Have a look in the mirror. So the general rule is you wanna go the opposite of what your face shape is mm -hmm. to sort of distract from those features. Oval face shape people are in luck. Uh, for the most part, they'll be able to wear round frames, square frames, right. rectangular frames, oversized. You want it to fit just on the outside of your cheekbones, which define the area how wide or how narrow a frame should be. Right. Black's a strong color, for sure. I usually like a matte black because it doesn't have that like extra glossy pop to it. Right. A darker tortoise on lighter skin and a lighter tortoise on darker skin kind of works. Once again, again that kind of opposite thing. Crystal is going to be a little hard on fair skin. Is crystal like clear? Like a clear, clear? yeah. Okay. But there's like pink crystal and peach crystal. So right. like a pure, pure crystal would look the best on a fair skin if you really wanted a crystal frame. Balance is the best way to put it. Like if you're doing right. a thick frame, maybe do not such a bold color. I mean, I'm always a fan of thin glasses for comfortability, especially on optical. I can wear my glasses all day and it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing glasses. Right. I haven't bowed since middle school. You gotta kind of consider your whole outfit and style and when it comes to sunglasses, I look for something subtle. I chose these frames for Josh because I feel like he's got a nice original look and speaking to not wanting to take away from his outfit, I feel like his accessories from the earring to the necklace kind of help give him that pop so he doesn't need to go too crazy here. I've always found it really difficult to find glasses that fit my face. I have a couple of go-tos that I've been wearing for years. I chose a square matte black frame for Josh. Maybe it's my fault for associating sort of like a beach lifestyle with Josh, but I just feel like a nice square frame is something that suits that lifestyle. Occasionally I try to go big and then I look like an idiot, but I do it anyway. I look like an ant. So with Nick, he's like a bit of a chameleon, so he's really fun. I wanted to do optical because you're always seeing him in sun, so let's take a look at how we can get him in an optical frame. We tried a bunch on, they all looked really good on him, but not everybody can do this, and I wanted to pick this frame for that. It's just like a nice little round, delicate frame, but it just still looks maybe a little more like weird president. I chose the Van Buren frame. This is probably not a frame Josh is gonna be wearing like six months every day because it's a little more progressive, but I just felt like it'd be a nice addition to his collection, and it's still classic. It's got a G15 lens with like a really slight mirror and a tortoise. Uh, Windsor rim. And the lens is flat, like that's cool too, the flat base lens. I'm into the, f I'm into the base lens. Yeah. And I understand calculus when I'm wearing them. He's just his own icon right here, <laughs> man. <laughs> Thanks guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Black Optical, I'm Gary and we're here to help you find a perfect pair of sunglasses. So I feel like there's four sunglass shapes that every guy should know. The first one being the Wayfair. Think JFK, Bob Dylan, classic as it gets, and any guy can pull it off. And it's definitely the most effortless of all the shapes. Next up, not as easy to wear, but it's one that everybody thinks they can wear, and it's the Aviator. Aviator, there's a lot of variations. You have round aviators, you have teardrop aviators like the one I'm wearing, you have navigators that are a little more square. Definitely be aware of which one you're picking and which one fits your face shape. Next shape is the Clubman. It's kind of like uh, the uh, Wayfair, but a little more souped up. Plastic on top, wire bottom. I think a little more militant and uh, a little more structure. The last shape, which uh, is probably, I don't know how to describe it, Probably the most rock and roll of all of them, it's the round. More John Lennon, more the birds. So I'm always asked what face shapes 
and uh, sunglass shapes people should wear. To me, I think it's a myth. Um, you know, when they say heart-shaped face wears square and round face wears rectangle, to me that's not personal style. Um, but I do think you need to keep it simple. So if it fits your personality, wear it. Um, you know, there's a little rebel in all of us, and we're all men, so we shouldn't be told what to do. My biggest pet peeve of all, bridge fit. Um, can't stand when I see glasses sitting too high on people or too low. I think if you're gonna wear them, they need to frame your face perfect. So uh, we use Jason as a model to kind of show you some examples of bridge fit. We'll start with uh, classic Wayfair because it's a frame that everybody can wear. This frame here, you know, the shape is good on them, but it sits a little bit high. Whenever you get a frame that's too high, you get to let a lot of light in. It also kind of pulls your face up. Um, we'll take these off. We'll put on this other frame. This bridge is actually too small. So it frames his face shape nice, not gonna get sun and top or bottom, but it just looks like it's squeezing his nose. It doesn't look comfortable. And this, my friends, is an example of a perfect bridge fit. Doesn't set too high, doesn't set too low. Um, so the bridge is really the distance between lenses on your nose. So from here to here. And with bridge fits, a millimeter can make a huge difference on the fit. Um, it doesn't seem like much when frames are next to each other, but on your face, it makes a big difference. It's kind of like having a tailored shirt. All right, so uh, Gary, I want you to take me through, like, what do you go through with a customer when they come in and they want to buy a pair of shades? What's the process that you take them okay. through with? Well, let's find you the perfect pair. Um, right, first, first thing I would ask is, what's your style? You know, I'm, you looking, want... I'm looking for something a little more casual. I've done the aviator for a while. Mm -hmm. um, my wife thinks I look like a 1970s cop. <laughs> And then I, I kind of like Poncho. it. Poncho. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm looking for something a little more casual and laid back. Okay. Well, let's start with Wayfarers. I, mean, I think they're the most effortless. You could dress them up, you could dress them down. Um, start with this pair. Okay. So what's going on with this one? How's you know, this one, I think it's a little too angular for your face shape or for the style you're going for. Yeah. Um, you want something effortless, I think you should go with softer, softer edges. All right. How's the bridge fit on this one? We could do better. You do better? Yeah. So you grab one that's a little rounder. Let's do this. This is the Barton Pereira. Okay. A little bit thinner profile, um, which I think makes them a little more effortless. I think those look pretty sharp. Those do look really sharp. Mm -hmm. Looks like JFK on a yacht. It does. But uh, black to me isn't casual. So let's look yeah. for something just okay. a little more casual, a little bit softer in color. All right. Let's try these. So those are perfect. What are these? That's the Garrett Light Kinney. Okay. It's, um, the color is sage green, um, so it's not really black, it's not brown. I think it makes them interesting and casual. And bridge fits nice. Excellent. So it's not sitting too high on my face. Not too high, not too not low. Too low, just right. Perfectly covers your eye. Awesome. And it, when sometimes when you buy a pair, and even if you find the right one you like, are there adjustments you can make? We can. We can adjust everything but the bridge. Okay. Um, so if they're kind of slipping down your nose, we can tighten behind the ears. If they're a little crooked, we can level them out. Um, you know, if you want them to have a little more face form, give you a little more wrap, we can do that as well. All right. Yeah, I, I'm digging these. These look really nice. I think they're perfect. Yeah, awesome. All right, so I hope that was useful. I want to thank Gary Black at Black Optical for showing us how to pick the perfect pair of shades. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly. What do you guys think? I, I give it a thumbs up. But everyone on YouTube is going to be like, those look bad. <laughs> But whatever. But you got to trust, like, but the thing is, you can't listen to others. You got to trust yourself. Yeah, you got to trust yourself. Only all you the, know your own style. It's and all about your own style. And you got to own this. You got to own it. I'm going to own this. You are going to own it. Hello, my name is Lisa Haxton and I'm the design director at Oliver Peoples. I'm going to show you how to find the right sunglasses for your face shape, whether it's oval, square, heart-shaped, or round. Cassie is an oval face shape. An oval is the most universal, it's balanced, so you really can play a little bit more with different shapes. But you can also do an upswept frame, a rectangular lens shape, thicker or thinner. Here we have a modified aviator. It's a little bit more rectangular and angular. They're always relevant. And this season we're seeing a lot of big oversized aviators, double bridge metals. And this one has a pop of color here at the bridge, and then the pops of color with the pink. Cassie wears a lot of gold jewelry, so it's great to pick a sunglass that also picks up those 
rose gold tones. This is taking a cue from Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston and Diane Kruger. Marlo has a square face, a little bit more angular in the jawbone. So to balance it out, we're gonna give Marlo a nice rounded lens shape. This is not a perfect round shape. It's rounded in the lens, the corners are softened, and also the frame is rounded. Oversized glamour sunglasses, always relevant, still really flattering and feminine. Celebrities that are always seen in these type of frames, Rachel Zoe. Shayna has a really round face, so for Shayna we want to do a more angular, or kind of rectangular, squared off frame. It's all about offsetting the round curves with those straighter lines. Always a fantastic way to go. It's classic, it has some texture into it, a lot of different colors, and the deep purples are inspired by vintage costume jewelry. Don't over-accessorize when you're wearing a sunglass like this, it's definitely a statement piece. Amanda has a heart-shaped face, a little bit wider across the forehead here, and then this beautiful chin. What's nice to balance that out is to call attention a little bit away from the forehead by this soft, rounded shape. On the runway, you're seeing a lot of neutrals, and a way to incorporate that into your sunglasses with really light, crystal, translucent. This sunglass is vintage-inspired. It's very hot right now. You can also do an upswept butterfly shape or cat eye shape. This has a keyhole bridge here and also plaque detailing on the end piece. How you're seeing these type of shapes on like Mary Kate Olsen. Here are a couple general tips to know when you're shopping for your sunglasses. Nose pads is a really great way to make sure that the frames fit you. Also, you want to make sure that your frames are not hitting your cheeks. You know when you smile and the sunglasses kind of lift up on their own? We want to avoid that. The width of the frame should always be at least as wide, if not a little bit wider than your face. At the end of the day, just have fun with it. I'm Katrina Zisch from InStyle Magazine for Houdini. I'm going to show you how to pick the perfect pair of sunglasses. The most important thing to consider is the shape of the glasses and the shape of your face. Do they go together? These glasses do not work for my face. They're way too angular for my oval shaped face. If I had a rounder face, these would work perfectly. You also want to keep in mind that if you have a very angular square face, you also want to stay away from very angular glasses. Compromise a little bit. Choose something with rounder edges. The next thing to consider is color. These glasses have a very trendy shade, except they don't go with my skin tone. Consider the outfit you're wearing, consider the makeup you're wearing, and choose your glasses accordingly. These glasses, for example, are the perfect color for what I'm wearing. They contrast with my paler skin tone, they match my lipstick, and they coordinate well with my blouse. Also, the size is perfect. I like an oversized sunglass, and these don't extend too far beyond my face, but they still work with the shape of my face. And finally, make sure that the sunglasses are not too big, even if you like an oversized, trendy sunglass like I do. These glasses are very trendy, but they're way too big for me. They stick out farther than the side of my face. Frames should line up with the sides of your face. They shouldn't go beyond. And also, the color of the lens does not complement my skin tone. The best piece of advice is to try on as many pairs of sunglasses as you can. Eventually, you'll find the one that works perfectly for you. I'm Katrina Zisch from InStyle Magazine for Houdini.